So afternoon John, today was the first session in Tenerife, so from your perspective what's the purpose of the week and what do you hope the players will achieve? Um, yeah so obviously we've had the, the first session today, um, really good session, lads really bought into everything and you know we've got some really good gains from it. Um, in relation to, to Tenerife and sort of the purpose why we, we come away and, and sort of the beauty of being away for, for the week. And we're basically going to break it down into sort of three sections. We've got obviously the fitness side of things, um, and obviously with the, the lads have done most of the aerobic work back at obviously at the club. Um, so we're at a different sort of phase at the moment where we're sort of looking at a lot more sort of short, sharp, sort of fitness-based work. So it's more anaerobic-based work um, incorporated into all sort of like your football and, and the games like you've seen today. Um, obviously, with the fact that we're doing sort of double sessions, so the afternoon sessions and predominantly. Um, 11 v 11 so it's, it's a good time for the coaches to get the work done sort of from a, a coaching point of view a, a tactical point of view and sort of really push home of what of what they want for the season and in the way that they want the games playing and how they want the lads to play and probably the biggest one for, for being away is is the togetherness of, of the, the whole squad um, obviously it's quite a new squad um, so getting the lads to be able to gel and, and sort of understand how, how the manager wants to do things and the staff want to do things and just getting the lads together from a from a collective point of view and, and control. Obviously with us being away um, back sort of at Berry it was sort of twenty five percent of the players' times controlled. Um, at least obviously when we're away now for the week it's, it's it's pretty much fully controlled so we can control everything that the players are doing. Um, they can take a lot more on board on they can you know the double sessions are managed a lot better even sort of, sort of triple sessions because they've got the time where they can go away and they can have a few sleep, a, a bit of sleep in the afternoon and you know the recovery work, the, the nutrition, the food from the hotel so obviously everything's a lot more controlled and, and we can sort of see certain things now that certain traits that may come out of a player that doesn't obviously we see back at the back at the football club. Well, so why Tenerife, what are the benefits coming to Tenerife opposed to doing it at home back in the UK? Um, like, like I touched on earlier, it's the control and, and more so from the Tenerife is, is the, the training facility, obviously the T3 mm -hmm. facility, the, the, the pitch is, is, is different class, um, the, surrounding, the surrounding sort of areas we've got for it, so we've obviously got the, the gym facilities there, um, the athletics track and also sort of like the sea for the recovery work, um, the pool, so it's more so for the actual the, the quality of the facility that we're actually training at yeah. as opposed to you know being back at the, at the stadium. So you touched on before about the diet being controlled. How do how does that vary over here? Obviously, with the heat and nutrition, does that play a part? Is it any difference being at home? Um, yeah, massive. Um, to be honest, the nutrition side is probably one of the most important things whilst we're out here. Um, obviously, predominantly the fluid. So, so what we do is before every session, the players will weigh themselves. We'll then weigh themselves after the session, which will then give us a, a difference. In, in kilograms, so which we then transfer to, to liters, so sort of how much fluid the players need to re-drink in between sessions to make sure they're hydrated. Obviously, encourage them to drink a lot more fluid now because of the heat. Um, a lot more sort of salt-based drinks and electrolyte drinks, obviously they're, they're losing it all through sweat. Um, and obviously, because the, the sessions have been increased, so we've gone from predominantly a single session to now potentially three sessions a day. Um, the food, making sure the players are loading up on the protein, the, the, the taking the supplements on board post session, um, so to be able to maintain that they can go through each session, maintain high standards through, through having adequate nutrition for adequate sort of energy levels. Um, and again, the hotel provides all that really good for us. And again, it's control. We'll be able to see what the players are eating and making sure that they are eating enough to be able to handle the, the demand of the sessions. Okay. So. In terms of yourself, you've been at the club for around six weeks now. How have you found it? What are the players like? Is there a good camaraderie? And how have you enjoyed pre-season? And how you how have you fit in to it yourself? Um, yeah, it's been good. It's been good. Obviously, it's you know it's my, my hometown club. Obviously, I support the club, so it's been it's been nice from a personal perspective to join um, in the summer. Obviously, I've worked with, with the, the gaffer before uh, the two previous clubs. Um, and just been surprised how well the lads have actually come back in and from, from returning for pre-season the, the standards that the lads have met and, and maintained as well um, the lads have bought into everything that we've, we've brought and there's a few things that we've changed up that they've all committed to and it just gets a really good feeling that 
there's a togetherness within the, the players, within the, you know, that's from the staff to the players, everyone just sort of pushing in that right direction and, and everyone wanting the same thing really. Um, the fitness levels have been have been different class. Like I say, they've they've come through a lot of sessions. They've done they've done really well and sort of maxed out on most sessions as well. So the standards there and it leads us into a good sort of platform to go into for the remaining part of obviously two three weeks of pre season going into the season. Um, and the, I think the lads just want to be successful. The, you get the feeling of there's a big hunger to be successful this year and and you know push up the league and hopefully get a promotion.